welcome back to part two of sell like a coach not like a used car salesperson my name is Natalie Sabina Dahl and I hope you saw part one already where we covered that the first secret of selling like a coach is asking really good questions which is, which is no rocket science but it's very very true when you're wearing your hat as a coach but sometimes when you're wearing your hat as a salesperson you forget second key and this has something to do with what all great, great coaches are, their true nature. And here's what I mean by that. So what happens when we're in a sales conversation, we're a little insecure sometimes, and we're not so confident because we don't feel comfortable selling. What happens that is that we slip into five different personas. And these five different personas, they're not bad per se, but they don't serve us in terms of building trust with your prospect, because imagine, if you had someone you're talking to and that person was five different personalities all in one conversation, what would you think? You would probably think, who is this person? Is this person schizophrenic or what's going on here? And here are the five personas. So I wanna share those with you. Maybe you recognize yourself in one or more, more than one of them. And the problem with those personas, it's not the personas, but it's slipping into different ones during a short conversation with a prospect simultaneously and changing personalities while you're talking. So the first persona is the ultimate nice guy or nice girl. So this shows in just being overwhelmingly nice. And yes, and, and, and the trying to build rapport and how are you and how's your family and all that, and which is not bad in the first place, but when you're overdoing it and when this is not really your true nature, I highly recommend not to overdo it. So the first thing, ultimate nice guy, nice girl. Second persona you might slip into is the wow person. So everything is like glitz and glimmer and wow and, and the greatest and the best and all the benefits, benefits, benefits. And again, this is not bad in a sales conversation, but if you're overdoing it with all the benefits, when you're trying to react to your prospect by giving them benefits after benefits after benefits, that's when it doesn't serve you at all because then it gets a little fishy for the client. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Persona number three is then the magician. So this is kind of amplifying the benefit guy, the wow guy. So the magician is um, describing the program or the product as something that you're, I mean, this is gonna change your whole life around. This is, everything's gonna be perfect and blue and pink and, and blue skies and no more rain and uh, it's just too much. It's a magician that is magically transforming your life. So this is what we do when we overdo it, when we notice that the prospect is not reacting in a way we want him or her to react, or is not responding to the benefits, then we pile it on top of it and it gets unbelievable. Number four is then the saint. So the saint is the person who's trying to over deliver with everything. Okay, oh, you want this too? Oh, I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna add that, which is again, another sales technique, which is good. But when you're slipping into these different personas in one conversation, again, it gets very confusing for the client. And number five is the wolf. So persona number five, the wolf, when you start noticing that the prospect is slipping away, then you go into hard closing mode or into kind of like, okay, now let's, let's make a deal now. What can we do? So let's sign the contract. Let's do this now and start being a little bit pushy because you feel it slipping away. If you recognize yourself in one of those five personas, it's totally okay because it's normal that this happens because we read so many books about selling and how to do it and everybody tells us a different thing. But the truth of it is selling like a coach you need to be only one thing, which is your true self. And you need to be authentic. Key number two, sell like a coach, authenticity. Be your true self, stick to your guns. And we'll talk a little bit about that in the next piece where I share with you the secret number three. And uh, when you're sticking to your guns, when you're staying to your true nature, this is when people resonate or they don't. But if they don't resonate, that's okay, because you don't want them as clients anyway. And if they do resonate with your persona, with your personality, with your authentic true self, you're not overdoing it, you're confident enough to be yourself, this is when people really connect. And once they connect with you, they start building trust, 
and they start thinking, wow, this probably is the person to help. All right, part number two, key number two, secret number two, be authentic. Looking forward to seeing you in part number three. In the meantime, stay authentic. <laughs>